Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I'd like to give you an update uh, uh, how it's going on with um, uh, Sparrow implementation and where we are with uh, model fine-tuning. So currently, we're still uh, preparing and annotating the data, um, the data set. Uh, but in the meantime, one, uh, while the data set is not ready yet, uh, I auto-generated, um, duplicated 500 invoices and uh, with um, uh, key data for those invoices and I'm using this uh, uh, dummy data set to test uh, how the fine-tuning is working, how the inference is working and I'm building uh, infrastructure around uh, the model uh, with different microservices. All right, so let's see. Uh, my desktop and uh, topic of today's video will be, I'll focus a bit on uh, uh, fine-tuning. I'll explain uh, how I'm doing uh, uh, model fine-tuning. And basically I'm following two strategies for now. And later once uh, uh, data set with real data will be available, uh, we'll see which approach um, uh, is producing better results and probably I'll stick to that approach. The first one is using PyTorch uh, lighting fine, uh, with fine-tuning. The second approach of the fine tuning is uh, with a hanging face trainer. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of it's using the same PyTorch. It's just uh, different APIs are being used to execute the training and uh, produce the fine tuned model. And I'm using as resources the, for the first approach. Uh, I'm using uh, uh, Transformers tutorials uh, related to Donut from this uh, GitHub repo. And the second approach uh, with Hugging Face Trainer uh, is described in this block uh, over here uh, from Philip Schmidt. Uh, both resources, URL to, uh, URLs to both resources you'll find uh, below the video. All right, and uh, let's go and see the differences. So the first one uh, is with PyTorch Lighting. I, uh, the data sets and, mod and this fine-tuned model are private uh, for now on Hugging Face Hub simply because uh, this data set is dummy. Once we'll have um, a real data set, I'll uh, make uh, those things open. But uh, in general, so uh, in order to run this fine-tuning, uh, either with PyTorch Lighting or um, Hugging Face Trainer, uh, the data preparation and uh, setup of the infrastructure is exactly the same. The only difference is uh, the place where you are doing fine tuning, calling the API. So you're basically using different API for the fine tuning. So in, in, the, in the first case, I'm using um, uh, Donut Data uh, version one data set and for the other option version two. And the differences is that for the version one, uh, data set is already processed and it's uh, ready to be used. And for the version two, I'm storing uh, in a data, data set only uh, images and then uh, and initial uh, key, key value pair mappings. But uh, transformation uh, required for the donut model fine tuning on, on top of this data is done later in a notebook. Uh, this way, I'm using this way simply because this is how the, the stuff was explained in the resources that I mentioned a few moments ago, and I didn't want to spend time to uh, to change the flow. I just uh, using the way it's explained to make it more simple and to make sure I'm not facing any bugs or issues. Okay, so in this case, we get uh, dataset V1, which is uh, completely prepared for donut model fine tuning uh, all data is transformed okay we're printing here some information about the data set and yeah getting uh, base model of uh, uh, model uh, of the donut model vision, vision encoder and also getting base uh, donut model from uh, hugging face then we are creating PyTorch dataset out of our dataset, uh, which is being uh, taken from the Hugging Face Hub. Uh, and with PyTorch dataset, we could use this dataset with PyTorch Lighting for the fine tuning. Okay, so all the code is, is here. And then we are creating the training and validation datasets, printing some information about those datasets. And yeah, the next step 
will be uh, defining lighting model based on specific API. Uh, validation steps are being defined and so on. And then we do, uh, this is the most important place, the fine tuning. So we call, uh, we specify parameters for the model fine tuning. In our case, because this data set is dummy, I'm using just uh, one iteration, uh, not to spend any time on uh, this useless training because it's just done for the uh, for the verification purpose to understand if the training uh, runs with my dataset or no. And yeah, once training fine tuning will be done, it will be pushed to the hub, and I'm invoking um, trainer, and it fits all the uh, all the data, does fine tuning, and at the end I'm I'm doing. Uh, I'm loading now uh, the model which was uploaded to Hugging Face Hub. I'm loading my own model which was fine tuned, and using this model, I'm executing, uh, uh, I'm getting uh, a test split from my dataset and uh, executing uh, inference, getting back result, translating him to JSON. And yeah, I'm getting. Uh, uh, obviously, very good accuracy because uh, entire data set is repeating. Uh, there are two invoices, and all of them are repeated. And based on this data, model is fine tuned. So, yeah, obviously, uh, accuracy is hundred percent. But this is not the point uh, of my test. My test was uh, to check if, in general, the model would work with my own data, with my own key value pairs, and it worked fine. So this means once real data is available, I'll be able to use this code uh, straightly out of the box. Right, and then there are, uh, if you'll go to the uh, GitHub repo, you'll see this um, inference example for Donut, uh, for the fine-tuned model, and there's a standalone inference example. The difference is that standalone inference example, uh, it wraps all the uh, inference code into the function, and you could call this function uh, from the outside. And also it loads image not from the data set that was used for training, not even from that uh, test split from the data set, but it's using completely external image and I'm using this external image to uh, pass it to the inference, just to test the uh, real um, process of the inference. Okay, and uh, version 2 is using uh, Hacking Phase Trainer. So we're also loading uh, data set, in this case version 2, and the difference, as I mentioned, uh, this dataset is not uh, processed and not ready for donut. It just contains uh, raw images and raw key value pairs. And all this transformation related to the donut is done inside the notebook uh, with the uh, helper functions like this one, JSON to token. So we're converting data, which will be ready for uh, the fine tuning. Then over here, we're getting um, uh, from base uh, donut, we're getting the vision encoder. Then in this place, we are specifying all the uh, fine-tuning parameters called uh, uh, trainer and uh, model fine-tunes. And yeah, we get uh, we get it to, to push to the hub, and later we reuse the model which was pushed to the hub to verify uh, how the inference works and uh, we get back the result in this case. Also, we have, uh, we execute uh, tests to uh, to see based on, uh, for if we get data from the test split, uh, what would be the accuracy. In this case, it's 100% because it's a dummy data set, as I mentioned. So myself, I prefer probably this version two approach because it's more, uh, the code is more readable for me and uh, the flow somehow is easier to understand. But again, uh, once we'll have the uh, real data, we'll see which uh, of two pr is producing um, results with better accuracy. So then I'll use uh, the one which is producing better results. And this uh, standalone inference example for the version two approach as well uh, with the external image and uh, function that wraps the inference code. Uh, and this th this code will be reused later for the inference endpoint to execute uh, data extraction. Right, so yeah, this was um, uh, explanation of where 
uh, we are now or I am now with the uh, Sparrow implementation and it's uh, going quite well um, yeah uh, fine tuning um, process uh, seems to be implemented and as soon as uh, there will be real data I will uh, will be excited to see what uh, accuracy results I'll get uh, for the data extraction after the uh, model fine-tuning of this uh, actual data. So thanks for watching, stay tuned and see you next time. Bye!